iPhone XS cannot be activated due to the update. Hello everyone, I'm Adriana and today with the help of Leonardo we'll see a very good tutorial about a common failure in iPhone XS. Lately this problem affects many models of the Apple brand. If you understand this process, you can solve hundreds and hundreds of devices. The correct price for this repair is between 120 and 150 euros, depending on each workshop. This is the price for Spain, surely for other countries it might vary. As I said, in some iPhones we have this common failure when the device cannot be updated, so it cannot be activated. Let's remove the two screws to be able to get to the motherboard. Will not take long with the disassembly process, we'll put the fast camera to save time. As I said before, time is worth gold and it should not be wasted. To carry out any repair, before everything we have to disconnect the battery connector. In this way we avoid possible shorts on the motherboard. Here we have the motherboard outside from the chassis. To separate the motherboard we'll use this tool. The truth is that I'm using it for almost 4 years ago and so far it works well. In the description of this video I'm gonna leave you the purchase link. This tool works at 185 Celsius degrees, so when we reach 185 Celsius degrees we can start removing the upper part. If the solder resists, then we have to increase the time, we give it for example 60 more seconds. On this YouTube channel I have said it many times before, to separate it, these boards you have to have a soft hand and not to do any force. If the upper part cannot be separated then the solder lid has not reached the melting point. To make it easy the solder lid has to be liquid. The flux can facilitate it the entire process. Now, with the help of the microscope, we'll observe better the work done. As you can see, all the pads are intact, we have not lost any. If you have not yet started to separate these motherboards, you have to invest some money in these tools. In an hour or an hour and a half, you can perfectly charge the salary of two, even three working days. We use a piece of cotton and contact cleaner to clean the flux from the motherboard. Here I'm going to show you the common failure in these devices. Because of faults or simply with the passage of time, the device is bending a little bit, then just in this area the intermediated layer will stop making contact with the lower part of the motherboard. In this way, the face A will not have communication with the face B in some pads. This is the only explanation of this common failure in the iPhone. The lack of communication in the pads can cause a thousand of breakdowns. 
lockdowns. The iPhone doesn't not update it, the device doesn't not turn on, we have no Wi-Fi, network problems and much more. Try to play, but you're never gonna beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me. Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me. To know which pad is failing, we are going to measure the impedances with the tester. I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the tester. Respect nothing less, you check as I'm chest, what's happening next? Yeah. He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second, this life is a lesson. He got a new engine from pain, that's a blessing, new focus, no guessing, just hold an obsession, all in his possession. You got the retention, I leave an impression and take a redemption, just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon. We have been able to see that these two pads don't have connection. To measure the impedances, we have to put the tester in diode mode and put the red tip to ground and with the black tip we measure the pad. The impedances can be seen using some paid tool. We can use the set XW or this one. After locating the pad without connection, we are going to see where they go. Pin 11 and pin 37 have connection with this pad. So we have to make two bridges to the motherboard. High ambitions and the right mind can take you so far It's like you lived a few lifetimes Take off from a break off from the weak minds They can stay soft, you can change lives You create thoughts, never waste time You got one shot, you got one life with the help of the scalpel Using the blade number 11 We scrape the pads to continue with this type of content, I just have to ask you to give us a strong like and in this way we'll record a lot of quality content. Thank you. We have been able to see that the two pads have the correct impedances. In the next step we apply a little flux and we are going to solder the two copper wires. To give it strength, we apply ultraviolet mask. In this way we are going to solder the two copper wires. We use very thin cables of 0.01 mm. In the description of this video I am going to leave you the purchase links. This is the final result. To solder the bented motherboards I like to use this tool. The only thing that changes is the working temperature which is 220 Celsius degrees and the anchor of the tool. To cool the motherboards I use an economical ventilator with free speeds. In the description of this video I leave you the purchase link.
Here we have the motherboard ready to check it. Now we go to the free U tool software and we activate the device. Guys, this was today's video. He is Leonardo. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.